gonna give. It's cash it cheat day time again. Welcome, it should be episode 54. When we come Taco Bell. Wow, like the same thing I did last time I talk about the four beefy five layer burrito um, for soft tacos this time. Then I got some special K blueberry with lemon clusters. Uh, reason probably for breakfast I'm gonna have something other lemony. So I'm trying that and then this one, Heath and peanut butter puffs. If I can't have it said it. Ah, oh, a little distracted today. 7.02, I started out early. Busy day, so hopefully neighbor's music outside is not too loud. Uh, otherwise I'm gonna have a little bit louder music in the background, so no copyright strike. Let's get it started. Stuff is good, I feel like I want to get um, Krispy Kreme, the new donuts, the f what, I forgot which, some coconut, some Mississippi mud pie and some other thing. I want to get them sold out. And I'm like, let's get those. What a weird day for me. Left early in the morning, I literally came home like maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. Nothing too crazy, I'm like, let's stop by Taco Bell on the way. So guys, I always have McDonald's. I think McDonald's is the best thing that we have close by to me. Now the soft tacos, I ordered them without lettuce. <laughs> yeah, because I went in store, I could do it this time. Of course, fire and hot sauce on it, why not? Slowest start in my cheat day. At least it was warm. That's why I messed up. Because I put it in the milk, I'm like, it's so warm so I can eat it. So, blueberry with lemon clusters. Let's give it a try. Those are the clusters. I don't know if you can. I'm just gonna focus on it. Highly doubt it, but I don't, I don't get any lemon flavor to be honest. I get the blueberry flavor. If you're a longer subscriber, you know. I do not like blueberry that much, but actually the combination comes out decent. So I give it probably seven out of 10. If you like blueberries, it's definitely gonna be a better rating. I'm a blueberry first person. So tear it down, I have some peanut butter puffs. Amazing. I you get all you get took out cereal. I you get some like once or twice a year. But basically like cheese puffs, just peanut butter. Peanut butter flavor. Now let's get to the heat bomb. Actually, I only wanted to have a small one, but I only found a big one. <laughs> I like the heat bars. They're chocolate with some like hard caramel in there, or toffee, or how they call it. And got introduced it last Halloween. I had a little sample. I mean, you know, the snack size Halloween stuff. I ate one. I like it. Well, that was the last part. 7.35, took a little bit longer than expected, but crazy start, hopefully. I will only figure it out tomorrow, it was a crazy start. Anyway, see the damage and then I'm gonna have the breakfast. Breakfast portion, a little bit smaller than usual, but I don't know, let's see. It is 8.33. I don't know, if I go out later, I wanna get something else. Or maybe here, I don't know, it depends. It's supposed to be raining a lot, so we will see. I got some new cinnamon rolls, for me at least, with orange icing. I have no idea if that tastes great or not, but 
I burned them as well. I did the minimum in the oven. It was still too long. So let's give them a try. My funny part is, I actually like the icing. Um, it's good, or okay to good. But the cinnamon roll, it's okay, yes. There's this one taste in there that I had in the pistachio ice cream. And the other thing I complained about, as well as a kind of funny taste that I do not like. Must be something artificial. I don't like it that much, so that the roll gets downgraded. So, especially because it's the premium one, it's the Pillsbury one. I really prefer the Aldi one, but I think it's supposed to be this lemon flavor and I put something artificial in there or naturally, a uh, natural ingredient that's like, not really that natural, that's not supposed to be in there, but I do not like this one flavor. I haven't figured out which one it is out of all the stuff, but it's one thing in there I don't, do not like, like a sight, like a hint of it. So that's not that great. I almost, I would find like marzipan and a little bit flavor, like an odd flavor, but I'm not a big marzipan person anyways. Now, the seasonal edition, the lemon flavored, that's what I was referring to. And for me, yesterday's meal, for you, the first meal, Le lemon, lemon, but it smells like artificial lemon, which I do not mind. So, again, they went with a hint of lemon again, slight eye like. A lemon, so I would would like it even more. Lemon is like when I took it out of the first bite, I didn't even taste the lemon. I smelled it, but I didn't taste it. So it's a hint of lemon. I mean, it feels more like a regular powdered donut, slightly lemon in it. So no lemon explosion. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a good foil for donuts like that. They're, they're pretty good. And to finish up my healthy breakfast, got lemons and oranges. And I have some watermelon. I don't know if you guys are new or not, or have seen them, but Haribo has watermelon stuff, gummy bears like that. I like them. So I went to Target and saw they have their own version, have the price. I give it a try. I have to get out the donut flavor first, so before I rate it. I definitely like the Harry Bows way better than those. I don't know. I, I'm still haven't figured out if I, li if I like them. I mean, I put them right now in the okay category, but I will never buy them again. I don't think they're, I don't know. They're kind of off for me. Not not, not really my, my taste. It might be yours, but not mine. I will have to try it, but. I don't like them that much. If I put them there, so they're okay, they're edible, but not, for me, not repayable. That's a, uh, 8.58. Well, this one for me was the battle to finish them. Nobody asked what even here. I already know that. I don't know. If you give it a try, try it. I didn't like it. I mean, not worth it. I invested a dollar more and get the horrible one. Anyways, so um, breakfast time. I have no idea what I'm gonna have for lunch. Either there's gonna be some food or maybe I try Krispy Kreme again. I don't know. I will figure it out what I'm craving at that point. Damage. I 
lunchtime, lunchtime after we have the app open, it's the new Mother Cruncher bag, uh, bacon barbecue burger. Here we go from Checkers. I couldn't remember the name. And I got some loaded fries with it. And some banana milkshake this time. And some candy. Reason why. Oh, I need to show the time. And show, show it, it's 3.40 uh, late because I went to one um, Krispy Kreme location second time after yesterday's fail today again, earlier. They're out of the banana ones, the new ones. So I'm like, I'm not buying any other ones. They're supposed to be the best ones. I called the, uh, two different locations that are close, uh, close by, would have been another 30 minutes drive each. They're all out of the banana ones. So they must be the most popular one. I'm like, I'm out of this cheat day out of them. So I'm not gonna be, uh, there's a piece of paper left. Uh, I'm not gonna drive like, I don't know, like an uh, hour or something to get them. Like, I'll, I'll probably out at that time and come there. So, and they decided to go to Checkers, drive through a long line, almost like 20 minutes to drive through. I guess everybody eats out today. I like it. Exactly like the Müller Milch one in Germany I talked about, the banana milk. I don't know if they still have it. I've been back to Germany for nine years. I don't even know if I ate it back then. But I'm older than that, so. Um, as you can see, this is how it looks. Bacon, ah! I ordered without um, lettuce and I didn't know there were pickles in here. So definitely go ahead and check. You guys can see the inside. Bacon and barbecue sauce, no lettuce for me and the chicken. Give it a try. By the way, this is going to be like 25, 26 hour ch um, cheat because I have something to do. So I can most likely not going to be able to get it done right on time. And it's going to add one or two hours. Sorry guys, but if you're a subscriber, you don't care, right? Extra two hours to recover, makes no difference. I could either eat two hours later or at that time. I don't digest all the food at that time, so. Stuff got in the way. But I'm hungry. So next cheat day, by the way, is gonna be Father's Day. <clears throat> I promise the kids they can decide I guess most of the food items or all of it. I think Annabelle already has a place out. You know, mind that we cannot eat inside because it's a little fancy place. And we're gonna take it to go, but I think I think it might be a little bit more expensive. Once a lifetime or year event. She deserves it. Uh, part of her like school and all good grades, everything. So it's make it a celebration for the family. And it's safer than going to any theme parks, anything like that right now. Not that, not that a cheetah costs like a, like a um, theme park, but it's a universal Orlando. I think per person is an annual pass, which is worth it. I think like three or four hundred dollars per person. Uh, Fry time, loaded fries. No, back in the day, I used to eat chili cheese fries from Checkers all the time. I didn't see it on the menu. When I drove by, it was a last minute decision because I didn't get a Krispy Kreme. So I decided to get those. I saw it on the way to find a location. I haven't had them for years, but chili cheese fries, I didn't see one on the, on the menu. But it's supposed to be on the website, it says they still have it. If I would have known, I would have ordered them instead. But give it to, I think that's ranch, cheese, bacon. Mm. It's good, you get the, the cheap che uh, cheese, like a spread of a cheese, a uh, squeezy cheese. What's it called, Whiz or something like that? Don't, uh, don't quote me on the name. It does just gives you like this fantastic taste. Ah, chicken sandwich, I forgot to rate it. I don't know what to think about it. The chicken was decent, no, not a lot of flavor. Kind of reminded me like a little bit of like cafeteria chicken. Like if you guys know what it means, like nothing special, decent chicken. But I mean, it was okay. I mean, it was not fantastic, fantastic. Like you have to get it, but it was pretty good. I think. What's the price of it? I don't know. Let me, let me guesstimate real quick. 
$3.99 or four nine. Oh, I got it. No, they don't tell, oh, they don't tell me the price. Hold on, I need to estimate for it. For it. Um, I think it's like four or five bars. I mean, it's an okay sandwich. It's not fantastic, but... You have way more expensive stuff out there that tastes worse. I can't tell you that much. It's definitely not going to be the the uh, the Popeyes um, people hunting for, down the the ready ch uh, chicken sandwich. It's not going to happen. I don't think so. But just my opinion. So right, done, you guys. People think I'm cheating. I could check for the phone. I'm waiting for uh, an email. Sorry. No, I messed up. Uh, I just wanted to have, I went yesterday to Target, I just want to have some musketeers. The only thing Target had was Lowe's, or this bag. I messed up on the mini part, I do not like the minis. I don't know if you guys remember. Wow, and I got cheated. I got an empty bag. Amazing, like an empty Snickers bag. Somebody ate my, one of my Snickers. Anyways, I, I like the normally the uh, regular sized bars. Well, I think it, it tastes different. You know, for the Snickers part, it's like the more important part. Talk about Snickers, I should have some Snickers somewhere. Where did I put them? I should have, should have gotten one. Maybe I'll eat a Snickers for dinner. So I was, actually start out with the Musketeer, that's the one I wanted. One reason why I bought a mixed bag to get some Musketeers. By the way, Musketeers, if you live in Germany, Musketeer is, um, Milky Way in Germany, I think. Milky Way is the mass bar. I always said it before. I, the only reason why I say it now because I saw a German comment in my last Cheetah video. I don't know if the person watches it, so. Here in the US, they decide to have different names. I have to smell my head, because oh yeah, I did yard work. And sprayed some poison for butts and everything. I took a shower and everything, washed my hand with antibacterial soap and everything. My hand still smells like the poison. Hopefully, I don't know. It's gone on my hand. If, if, it, if this video has never be, been released, something happened. A funny part. I don't know why I always say funny part. Sorry guys. Must be annoying watching my videos. I always say the funny part. And by the way, when I edit it, I'm like, why am I saying it all the time? But, mm. I kind of underestimated my lunch hunger. But I didn't know how much how many calories all this stuff had. Came home, I want to eat it fast. I'm, like, I'm, I'm still f decently full. But now that I'm almost done, I'm well, actually not that full. I should have gotten myself another burger or something like that at Checkers. I'm not going to be back at Checkers for a while. Except the fries, the fries are really good. Burgers, I, to be honest, I was never a really big fan of Checkers burgers, but the fries, chili fries, always. I just went in for chili fries, it didn't eat anything else. If you haven't figured it out by now, with all the fries I eat all the time, I love fries. <laughs> mm. Mm. Burgers, I mean, it has to be an expensive burger or a cheap burger. Oh, five guys. I have five guys as well, but I think overall, a cheese, simple cheeseburger at McDonald's, a cheap one. They're one of my favorites. I love the fast food restaurants at least. I, have, I would say for me it's a better value anyways than five guys just price-wise. Not, I'm not talking about Calorie or nutrition, health reason wise, I don't talk about money and taste. Dollar for that taste is good enough in my books. Oh, talk about why I'm I, right now. I think I'm in a talkative mode. I wasn't this morning, but right now I am. Originally, I want to get Sonics, but only the new, I think, yellow cake better shake. That's what it called. Oh. Derrick has a new shake too that uh, I forgot which one. 
have a new shaker. My next cheat day, I might have to stop by. We're really far away from here. The reason I didn't get the checkers one, uh, the Sonics one, because I went to um, Krispy Kreme to get the donuts first. Couldn't get the donuts, so I was driving away, and the Sonics is right next to it. Calling the different locations of Krispy Kreme trying to get their donuts. And then I passed it and I saw checkers, so I'm like, I have to check us, I want some fries. Why not? But, but Sonic is not that close, but closer than checkers. Done, 3.58. Not as full as I, I wouldn't say hoped for, but expected. Surprised, by the way, by that. Anyways, damagey, and then, <laughs> sorry, I was in the kid talking mode. Um, <laughs> damage, and then, <clears throat> I don't know. I have no idea if I'm gonna go somewhere or not. Uh, <laughs> I think I saw McDonald's has them. <laughs> Buy one, get one fries. We could eat some fries, I like fries. I don't know. You already thought it's thumbnail? You're smarter than me. And I am back for the late dinner as promised. 9.37. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I will <clears throat> coupon for Burger King, that's Burger King Nuggets. Buy uh, 40 nuggets and two large fries for like a cheap price. <laughs> Get a Burger King or you paid everything online, mobile order pickup. They're out of fries. And then I'm like, okay, I still want it, but can you adjust the price? Because there was another offer without the fries. Yeah, yeah. We never adjusted the price, so. And then I got here a sub uh, barbecue cheesesteak from Wawa. The reason why I got this one for free. And there was a reward expiring today. Got must have an icy tank have out of the way. It's that over the hot stuff. I don't know can you hear too. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it or not. Oh, okay. I, I wish I would have a little bit more barbecue salt in there. But let's eat some of the cold nuggets. I prefer, I think, McDonald's nuggets. With a lovely ketchup, it's similar tasting, but... I mean, it might be just a difference because those are cold now. The only reason why I got nuggets was because of the fries. I really wanted fries, as I told you guys earlier. Couldn't get the fries. Ah! And because I am not the prettiest side in the video, here's number pretty, pretty one number one. Right, it's there saying hello. I got the handsome one in here too. And it's like he's just licking his fingers. I got me a handsome pretty. See now, okay, right now, if people watch to this part, give it a thumbs up for this for for, that, for them that made it in here. Mm. But unfortunately, not, only a couple of people watched the end. So at least now you got a good side. Okay, you want to say anything? So, yeah. I didn't buy almost because there's the last portion. My <coughs> okay. So now some ranch sauce from working. If I would have known, I'd run out of curry sauce, I would have gotten barbecue, but let's do some ranch. This was my first try of this one. It kind of looked appealing, but now that I unpacked it, it doesn't look that appealing. It's called a cheese quesito. I don't know what it is. It's just a puff pastry. I have no idea what it is, how it tastes. Never had it, so get it started. Where's the cheese? And I can't really, there's not a lot of cheese in here. Uh, now that it gets cheese quesito, I don't know. I actually liked it. But I wish more cheese in it. Like I said all the time, I'm more more of a filling person. As you can see with my sauce and everything, I like to dip in a lot of sauces. I like it. So for me, stuff has to be like fully loaded. Now they have this white Kit Kat. I don't know where I ever had one, but I'm I don't know. You guys, if you guys change, you probably know more than me by now. I had so many stuff items. Wow. It's not really full in there, but oh. now I'm missing my fries. I really want to have the fries. 
I just remembered again. Because I'm sure they're hungry. The fries, the fries, the fries. But luckily, I'm out of the uh, curry ketchup, so no waste. I have some mints. Junior mints, they're pretty good. But our, oh, well, as far as I remember. Oh yeah, opening right here and then move over at the other end. Not the smartest cookie around. Now my breath is all fresh. How about Steve? <laughs> Marine not that full, but I'm stopping with after. Let's make a spa. A classic. So done. 10. I don't know, I don't just feel like chocolate. Once again, why overdo it? And especially it's late now. Ah, oh, another cheat day in the books. From my social media, I'm gonna show you the damage in a second. And after the damage, I'm gonna show you my physique. How much, how much I gained, and how much I'm gonna lose over the next four days afterwards. So, let's roll the damage in and then my little talk and showing all my stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the end of the video, my physique and weight updates for the last four days after the cheat day. So let's get it started with before the cheat day, right before I came in at 194.7. Then at night of the cheat day, after eating all the lovely food, I came at 210, exactly on the dot. So I gained roughly 15 pounds during that cheat day. And then the next morning afterwards, I came in at 206. 0.6, so I lost roughly three pounds overnight, just a water weight and everything like that, which goes down even more. That day I fasted like always. So day two afterwards, I came in at 199.1. Another seven and a half pounds dropped overnight. As I said, cheat days get, get a lot of water weight and everything on there. It's gonna go out over the next days. So day three afterwards, I came at 195.0. This one was the last day of fasting. Again, I fast like three full days afterwards. So day one, day two, and day three afterwards, I did fast. So then day four, I came in at 191.9 in the morning. Still, I'm fast at that point. So, I, but after that, I eat my first meal. So the, I have an empty stomach, so that weight always goes down a little bit more, but <clears throat> great like that. So that's my weight, my physique. As far as the cheat day goes, I hope I didn't complain too much, but stuff didn't work out. It wouldn't be a cheat day if everything would work out, like always with the fries and everything like that. But great nonetheless, I rediscovered checkers. I might have to go back there. I love the uh, milkshake. It's a simple one. And of course the fries are amazing, like with loaded fries. I think it's one, one of the best loaded fries stuff you can get there. Even with the chili, I like it better than um, Wendy's. But if you didn't know another place that's had it's better loaded fries, fast food wise, comment below. I might have to check those out. Are that great, great, great? I don't want to talk too long because the video is a bit longer than usual. So thanks everybody for my social media. Thank you for all the new subscribers I got over the last weeks. Thanks for the comments and everything like that. Even thanks for the negative comments. Luckily, YouTube automatically took some of them out. Like I got a notification about some that were not so nice, but YouTube deleted them automatically because they weren't weren't there when I tried to look at them in the YouTube comment section. So I have no idea. I think YouTube has a stricter policy right now. So you comment might have been deleted. Um, other than that, so that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up again. Everything like always comment, share. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending the time with me on my cheat day, basically. So, and I am out for today and a little sneak preview. Bye-bye. Gonna have some Cheesecake Factory. I got the Louisiana chicken. This looks a spicy pasta thing, and I got a cheesecake as well. Let's start with that, and I got this amazing test, uh, tasting uh, pineapple whipped cream thing from Taco Bell. Icy.